excellent. Folks, we have some panel ground rules. First off, we encourage you all to do audio and video recording of the panel. We also encourage you all to be citizen journalists and live tweet and Facebook the panel. We encourage you all to use the hashtag Robotech and hashtag WonderCon on social media. For everyone's enjoyment, we ask that you please silence all mobile devices and hold all the questions until the end because we have the Robotech mystery box filled with prizes. Yeah. And let me now welcome you to the Robotech panel here at WonderCon 2019. My name is Kevin McKeever. I am Vice President of Marketing for the Robotech franchise. And folks, we have awesome fans all over the world. In fact, it's one of my great pleasures to go all over the world and meet fans everywhere. We have fans who make Robotech fan art. We also have a fan who made a custom-made Robotech Acura NX NSX. Last year at Anime Expo, this was put on display on the exhibit hall floor and is currently touring around auto shows around the country. This leads us to online streaming. Robotech is now streaming online for Amazon, Netflix, and Crackle in North and Latin America. And for fans down under, Robotech is now streaming on Stan in Australia. Whoa! Yes. <laughs> and folks, we also have subscription exclusive merchandise from our friends over at Loot Crate. Last year, Loot Crate subscribers received the Robotech LED lamp. They also received a Robotech 1100 scale Stealth DF1J. And, since it's cold outside, Loot Crate subscribers also got the first ever Robotech Beanie. <laughs> yes. Does anyone need more cards? Anybody? Bueller, over there? Bueller, right over there. Raise up the hands again. <laughs> if you want to join, get, get more of this stuff, exclusive items from Loot Crate, go to www.lootcrate.com. And speaking of, we have to talk about the plushies. We now have a new plushie license, and their name is Poonie Poonie Factory. <laughs> they have made the Skull Leader plushie, which is now shipping for $30. And folks, demand for the plushies is so strong, we have teamed up with a new license, Icon Heroes. And they're going to make more plushies, starting with the Rick Hunter <laughs> and the Roy Foker. They'll be coming out this year, and they're going to be for $25 each. Go to Icon Heroes, or you can pre-order them at Robotech.com. And our friends at Icon Heroes are going to make a new line of Robotech merchandise, starting with cell phone wallets. and. Robotech Toys. You will find out more of what Icon Heroes is making later this year. And let's talk about our friends over at 80stees.com. 80 Tees has made a new line of Robotech apparel with t-shirts, more t-shirts. <laughs> These are very popular. And of course, a line of chibi t-shirts. <laughs> And for a, you have a more formal occasion, 80s Tees has you covered with a line of Robotech polo shirts. And folks, uh, you know, you're going to need a pair of Robotech socks to keep you warm. <laughs> These go great with the Robotech Skull Leader hoodie. Skull Leader hoodie is sold so well, 80s Tees has added three new hoodies. And... We're pleased to announce a new line of Robotech hockey jerseys. Yes, these came out really well, folks. They're really nice. You can order all of these online right now at 80stees.com. Let's talk about our friends at Super 7. 
They have launched their own line of retro apparel, starting with t-shirts and a Macross Island Space Camp t-shirt. Yes. And folks, speaking of retro, remember those glasses from the 1980s, those collectible glasses? Super 7's gonna be making those as well. They're also making a line of muscle figures. Yes, they're, yes, they're very cool, and they are very good, and they're on sale right now at super7store.com. Also, they're making a line of reaction figures. How many of you remember the Star Wars figures from Kenner, their first line, right? Remember how like, sort of like, they kind of move like this, with the articulation, limited articulation? That's what Super 7 is going for here, limited articulation, and these are available right now for $15 each. And down at booth 1120, you can order and buy a special Robotech figure. So when the dealer room opens tomorrow, head to booth 1120 and you can get this special Robotech figure. You can order all of these online also at super7store.com. And speaking of action figures, let's talk about our friends at MEP Toys. MEP Toys is a new license and they're making a line of Robotech action figures and here is the first one. Oh, yes. Britai. And this, this is no ordinary Britai figure. This is compatible with the Toynami 1100 scale VF1s. And you might remember in episode 11 when Rick Hunter ejects from the VF1 and Britai grabs him. This figure comes with a Rick Hunter and a little ejection seat that can hold in the hands. Yes, folks is that is that cool these figures are awesome and Nep Toys is not stopping there we talked about before about Southern Cross guess what here's a first look at a Southern Cross figure oh and there's more yes these are prototypes we we'll have more information later this year let's talk about what our friends over at Toynami are up to they have a line of action figures, the four and a quarter inch scale. They're shipping right now. Wave one includes Roy, Min Mei, Miriam, Rick, and Max Sterling. And if you head down to booth 827, you can see wave two. Here's a first look at them. Claudia, Ben, Rick, Lisa, and Captain Global. You can check, you can't buy them yet, but you can check them out at booth 827. And Toynami has a great line of super deformed figures in the pipeline. These are on display also at booth 827. They're part of a new generation series blind box collectible figures. You can order them either individually or as a set and they'll be arriving in late 2019. And let's talk about flight jackets. Toynami is making a line of flight jackets and you can pre-order them at booth 827. Now, something about these flight jackets that I wanna point out, these are custom made to each individual order. Meaning, if you want an extra, extra large flight jacket, it will be custom made for you and numbered accordingly. So if you go down, you can pre-order these at booth 827 right now and get free shipping. These also go well with our 1100 scale VF1s. These are also on, scale, on sale at booth 827. And we have a WonderCon exclusive, a VF1 in retro packaging. These are on sale exclusively at WonderCon. You cannot buy them anywhere else. George has sold nearly 20% of his stock already today. If you head down to booth 827, you can order these right now, and buy them actually, right now for $65. And folks, they're WonderCon exclusive. You won't be able to get them anywhere else. Let's talk about what our friends at Kids Concept are up to. 
Kids Concept in 2017 launched a super deformed line of VF1 transformable fighters. And they have now followed up with a 172 transformable VF1. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it does come with fast packs. And you can order these right now for $90. Ah, let's talk about the Dancing Minmay. Wait. Dancing Minmay, you ask? What does it do? To be in love must be the sweetest feeling that a girl can feel. To be in love, to live a dream. It's a Bluetooth capable speaker system. You can have Minmay sing and dance to any music you want. It's shipping right now for $50. It stands four inches tall, and you can't see it, but it actually lights up and changes color while Min Mei dances. So, let's follow up with the pullback Min Mei. Wait a minute. What's a pullback Min Mei, you ask? Well, you pull it back, and this. <laughs> They come in four separate colors. You can order them in two or four packs and they're shipping right now from Robotech.com. And Kids Concept also has a six inch posable figure Min May that's available right now. Stands six inches tall, highly posable. It comes with the little, little chibi Min May there. It has three interchangeable faces and it comes with a display stand and you can order it right now for $60. This will be followed this year by a Rick Hunter figure. And yes, folks, it will come with the helmet, and you're going to really like this one, too. You can order pre-order these for $60, either at the Robotech.com store or at www.kidsconcept.hk. And our friends over at Kids Logic are making a new line of Robotech collectibles. Starting with the 1-6 scale Bluetooth capable sound system VF1 cockpit diorama. Here they are being constructed. And folks, despite costing $1,500 each, they've all sold out. Yes. So they followed up with a, with a Max version and it sold out. And they now followed up with a Roy version. Yeah. And it's, yeah, see, you gotta buy these things, folks. This is a very hot market. And speaking of statues, we've gone to Tokyo, Japan, and brought in a license named Prime One Studios to make a statue of the VF1J. And here it is on display at San Diego Comic Con. With Memo, yes. And he's gonna follow up with a Guardian statue. And here's a video of it. Statues will be shipping this year. They are limited to 1,000 units worldwide, and they have removable fast pack armor, and they're over two feet tall. They are phenomenal, folks, and you can order them through Sideshow Collectibles. Speaking of die cast models, we've teamed up with Caliber Wings 
and Northrop Grumman to bring you a line of Robotech F-14s in both the Roy Fokker and Rick Hunter variants. And this year, both the Max and Myriad variants will be released as well. Many of you have been asking, will they make a VF-1 diecast model? The answer is yes. They have one in development. More information will be revealed later this year. Let's switch gears to card games. Our friends at Solar Flare Games have launched a new line of Robotech card games, starting with Robotech Force of Arms. Here's a look at some of the cards. And Robotech Force of Arms is available right now from SolarFlareGames.com or the Robotech.com store. You can also buy a Robotech Force of Arms playmat. And folks, for you Southern Cross fans, Robotech Crisis Point is currently available for pre-order. Here's a look at the key artwork, and here's a look at some of the card artwork. Here's some more. And here's even some more. This is sort of a deeper dive into the Robotech Masters era. You can pre-order these now from Solar Flare Games for $30 and you get all that you see here. And this will come with a, with a Robotech Crisis Point playmat. This will be followed by Robotech The Invin Invasion, a new generation card game. Yes. yes. You're gonna, oh, want more games? Our friends at Coleco are going to make a line of retro arcade games. Coleco is excited to announce the evolution of our classic tabletop arcade machine. This is Coleco Evolved. 35 years after we made history, we're here doing it again with two all-new titles, Rainbow Bright, The Journey to Rainbow Land, and Robotech, The Macross Saga. These new mini tabletop arcade machines preserve the classic shape and heavy-duty plastic shell construction you remember from the 80s. We've updated the Coleco Mini's control panel and done away with the low-resolution calculator screen in favor of a full-color LCD display. Also gone are the 4C batteries in favor of a rechargeable lithium-ion battery. Under the hood, our new games come to life with a powerful new gaming chipset. System upgrades are just the beginning. The games have evolved too. First up, join Rainbow Bright and her pal Starlight as they spread color and happiness in this RPG classic in the making, Journey to Rainbow Land. Players take on Murky and Lurky, the enemies of Rainbow Land, who want to make the world just as murky and dismal as they are. Rainbow Bright is a retro classic RPG for gamers of all ages. Next, hop into your Valkyrie and defend the Earth from alien invasion in Robotech the Macross Saga. Transform between fighter, guardian, and battleoid modes as you take on the hordes in this classic side-scrolling shooter. It's the perfect genre for this updated retro platform. Hey guys, I'm Tina with Coleco. For years, we've heard your requests to bring back these handheld arcades with classic cabinets and the same indestructible shelves as the old Pac-Man and Donkey Kong arcades. We invite you to join the revolution and experience Coleco Evolved. So currently, the game is being shipped to the backers on Kickstarter. And eventually, it will be available for you guys this year. You can pre-order these right now for $60. And we also have some tabletop games as well from our friends over at Strange Machine Games. <coughs> Strange Machine launched with two games, Robotech Ace Pilot and Robotech Attack on the SDF-1. Robotech Ace Pilot is now shipping, and here is a look at the gameplay. Late last year, they followed up with Robotech Attack on the SDF-1, a board game where you, the fan, can take control of a classic hero to defend the SDF-1 from enemy attack. This game is now shipping, and here is a look at the gameplay. You get all that you see here, including this SDF-1. Yes. It's shipping now for $80, and in 2019, Strange Machine is gonna follow up with Robotech Brace for Impact. Here's a look at the, at the box art. And you're all thinking, this is great, but what about Cyclones? Well, Robotech's gonna be, uh, Strange Machine is gonna be following up with Robotech Cyclone Run, which will be arriving late this year. 
But what about role-playing games, you ask? I mean, we all know the Palladium license has expired. Will there be new role-playing games? The answer is yes. Strange Machine Games has acquired the Robotech role-playing game license. Here is a look at the cover art. You want to see some interior art? Yes? yes. All right. Well, get, yes, say yes, guys. I can't, I can't see you nod. Yes. All right. Here's some interior art. Here's some more. Yeah. So stay, stay tuned, folks, because we're going to have a lot more information later this year on this role-playing game. And our friends over at Udon have released Robotech, the Visual Archive, the Macross Saga. We know many of you have been asking for the Robotech art books to be re-released. We are reconstructing the art books in a new format. This covers the Macross Saga. It has all the episode guides, <coughs> including wow. all the line art we can get our hands on, and ship size comparisons, a look at the characters, and a whole host of other things. It's now on its second printing, and we're also working on a new art book. We can't tell you much yet, but stay tuned. <laughs> Let's talk about comics and our friends at Titan Comics. We've got a lot going on, so I want to bring up someone to talk about Titan Comics. Our awesome creative director, please welcome Tommy Yoon. Can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so um, uh, thank you all for being here for the last event of the day. Uh, we're really grateful. Um, everybody has worked so hard on not just bringing lots of cool, fun, new uh, products for you guys, but just bringing you more content, more stories. I mean, a lot of you got into Robotech because the stories were so rich and exciting, and that's something that Titan's really working hard on. Um, and even um, the stuff that we just showed you, like the Uro materials, I mean, just to show how hard everyone's working on it, uh, if you go to the Robotech fan booth later when you get a chance, that book is as thick as Robotech Art 1, if you guys remember that, yet it only covers one-third of the material. So that means they've gathered three times as much material just for one-third of the series. So that's just an example of uh, how much energy they're putting into it. Now, with Titan, uh, let's take a look at it next. It debuted at number one when it launched. I mean, that's a big deal for a non-Marvel, non-DC book series. Um, we actually outsold Power Rangers even when their movie was coming out. So uh, that, was, uh, that was a really um, pleasant uh, you know, uh, launch for the Rogue Tech series. The folks at Titan were really pleased. And uh, let's look next. And we also have fans getting involved here. Uh, this was a fan um, photo collage that Jay Tablante in the Philippines had produced, and we got him in touch with Titan, and this was like one of those little um, happy outcomes where it ended up being, uh, his artwork ended up being used on one of the Titan uh, covers for one of the Robotech pieces. And the, we're not only producing new series, we're also diving back into the original Robotech books all the way back through the Kamiko era. Uh, do you remember collecting Kamiko back in 1985? Yeah. Well, we've got those all collected. The Macross Saga books are coming out now. Uh, they've been rescanned. They look great. It's very clean. And we've also got more books coming soon. They're going to do deep dives not just into the Southern Cross, the new generation. They're even jumping into the Sentinels. <laughs> So uh, all these comic books, you know, like folks who said, uh, did you forget about Southern Cross and Sentinels? No, we did not. We are getting those out there. Uh, next. Uh, one uh, person I'd like to draw a little bit of attention to uh, in the comic book industry, this was in the comic book trades. Uh, one of our collaborators, longtime collaborators, James Rochelle, I had worked with him back all the way back through the Wildstorm era. He was one of the most talented colorists, and unfortunately he had recently passed away. And I just wanted to draw attention to uh, some of the work progress process that we go through. Um, 
Next, uh, this is actually uh, a piece that I had sketched basically uh, on a little sheet of paper. And uh, as it comes together, and I get him involved, this is uh, the next stage, how it ends up looking. And so uh, his digital skills, it's just amazing how uh, he just helps bring it all together. Uh, he's been <coughs> involved in many, many high profile uh, series, besides just Robotech, Speed Racer, and so forth. And um, let's take a look at the final book. And this is the final book as it ships. So uh, these are uh, just showing uh, how we collaborate together. So just wanted to uh, bring a little attention to James's work. And then uh, next, the new books that are coming out, they are being, if, you have, if you've missed any of the issues, you can get them on trade paperbacks. They are available uh, both uh, through Amazon, uh, your traditional comic retailers, or you can also get the, the back issues through Comixology uh, digitally online. Uh, next. I want to share a little bit of information. Um, since last year, Simon Furman has come on board. Uh, it was started, uh, it, it got off to a great start with, um, uh, it, uh, let's see, Brian. Brian Wood, yes, thank you very much. And Simon Furman uh, took over and he's just been knocking it out of the park. And for the fans here, uh, he's recorded a message for our comic fans. Yes, we did in lights, please. Greetings, Robotech fans. Simon Furman here, writer of Titan's revisionary Robotech comic. Hope you're enjoying the changes, some major, some minor, we're making to the story as we go along. Global's death, Rick's blindness, the invid, and we're just getting started. Big developments around the corner for Roy, and the secrets of the SDF-1 are laid bare like never before. Oh. And the Zintrani spies go on a date. The best, as they say, is yet to come. Enjoy. So this is one of the exciting things um, getting Simon involved is he knows the ins and outs of all the continuity and he knows where to mess with the fans. Because in the old days fans would go, oh no, the continuity is off, something's different here and there. But here we know a guy who's watched everything, he's worked on Transformers, and this time, when something's different, he's doing it on purpose. He's got something up his sleeve, a little surprise, like why is this universe messed up? You know, why, is things ha why are things happening differently this time? Where is this headed? And this is where it gets really exciting, where there is a great purpose to all these differences. You know, fans are oh, no, they, 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 he now he knows what he's doing. And uh, next. Great. Oh. Oh, yeah. And the artist uh, that came on board, um, we had a great run with Marco Torini, who had drawn the first year of the Robotech series. Henry Persetia, he took over from Power Rangers, and his artwork has been fantastic. Uh, we're going to show you a little bit of it in a little bit. Right there. This is uh, issue number 18, uh, and then uh, the next one. Let's see, this is issue number 19. That's going to come up. Uh, sorry about the caption. It's not free comic book day yet. That's not the issue. But uh, that one is coming out on this coming Wednesday. And then uh, next, we have Brendan Fletcher. And he's going to be slowly coming on board with backup stories. And so you'll be, uh, he had previously worked on Ghost in the Shell. So he's. Um, He's very well known for understanding Japanese properties and having been given the opportunity to work on a highly um, revered Japanese series. Um, and now we're really, really honored to have him coming aboard on Robotech. And uh, next up. So this is where it's all leading up to. Free Comic Book Day. Where Brendan and Simon are working together all these differences in continuity, it's leading up to this event called Event Horizon. 